Now, I, I mentioned that um, new communications uh, between different areas of the Huntington's community has been something of a theme at this conference, and um, I understand that, that you, Jeff, have another exciting development to tell us about which hasn't been mentioned yet at the conference. Yeah, so uh, we'd like to give a brief preview of a project that Ed and I uh, have been working on together. As you know now, uh, we enjoy communicating HD science to the people who uh, need it most. We've been talking with people with HD or at risk, um, in particular the European um, Huntington Disease Network Young Adults Working Group, and where we hear what we hear everywhere is that people wish there was a, a source for reliable independent news about research. So we're proud to announce that in early 2011 we'll be uh, launching a new web platform called uh, HD Buzz, which will be breaking news about HD research written in plain language uh, for the global HD community. So the updates will be written by scientists and clinicians who focus on HD. Ed and I uh, will be working with a carefully selected team of um, researchers from around the world chosen uh, for their ability to communicate well with patients as well as scientists. Stories will be published to a web portal uh, at hdbuzz.net. But um, the website's kind of just the beginning. From hdbuzz, um, stories will be freely syndicated to any community site that wants to carry them, as well as social network sites like Twitter, Facebook, and Google Buzz. And you'll be able to get updates by email or delivered to your blog by RSS feed. So HD Buzz stories will spread, hopefully instantly, uh, throughout the online HD world. We hope that the content will be the starting point for discussions uh, on those sites about uh, exciting developments in HD. I think, uh, actually, I think that sounds very exciting. Can you show us the site at all? Was that? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a preview, exclusive preview of HDBuzz.net. This is the HD Buzz front page where you can read the stories directly. This is the language option. As soon as possible, we hope to get all the EHDN languages with a little bit of help throughout the site. We have featured stories, top stories, trending topics, and every story that's been written is accessible uh, through the front page. All the stories are tagged um, so that you can browse by things that you're particularly interested in. Let's take a look at the featured story, which is uh, about minocycline and the domino study that was just published last week. This is a negative result, um, but a, a result that's, that's very interesting and, and will help the community to decide where to put its resources next. Um, the little thermometer icon uh, suggests that the, the temperature of the research is hot because this is the result of a clinical trial. And each story will explain the context of the story, what this, the new research tells us, um, why it was done and uh, then try and figure out, to help people figure out where we go from here, how this story affects um, where to go next. We avoid jargon whenever possible, but uh, where we have to use it, it's always explained uh, using little pop-ups from a glossary that's throughout the site. And each story will be linked to the abstract or the full story, the full article on the internet and to other stories of interest. And these buttons on every story will enable us to get feedback whether people enjoyed it or didn't understand the story and how we can improve it. You can share the stories via your own um, uh, Twitter feed or, H or um, uh, Facebook. And at, at the bottom of the story, we link directly through to the discussions that are taking place about the subject on the community forums. So this is an example from the HDSA website where the minocycline story is being discussed. And then returning back to the HD Buzz homepage, you can follow our HD Buzz feed on our own Twitter page, uh, and you can follow that through your own uh, Twitter account. And there's a Facebook page as well, and a, a Google uh, Buzz feed. So um, that's our preview of HD Buzz. Thomas. Very good. Uh, uh, you've got. You mentioned. Um... You, you mentioned the, the HDSA. I mean, have you, have you got the support of lay organizations? So uh, we're really thrilled uh, that we have uh, support from the UK Huntington Disease Association, the Huntington Disease Society of America, and the Huntington Society of Canada. Uh, they're all major supporters of HD Buzz, and uh, we're excited to be uh, working with them. Obtaining our funding from HD lay organizations lets us maintain our independence so that you know the stories will be uh, reliable and unbiased. Good. And you launch when? Uh, we're launching early 2011, January next year. But if you visit hdbuzz.net now, you can be among the, the first, you can sign up to be among the first to hear about the site when it's launched. Well, thank you for that, and thank you for all of your work over the last two days, and thank you for being here tonight, and so informative as ever. Gentlemen, Ed Carroll and...
Ed, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> They've morphed into each other. <laughs> Ed Wilde and Jeff Carroll. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.